Safi, how are you doing? Hi, Sam. I'm doing fine. I have another question for you today. Okay. Um, it's about this word jihad. I, I understand Islam to be a religion of peace, but people are always talking about jihad and jihadists. What is jihad? Uh, yes, I hear the word a lot, and it's thrown around since 9-11 a whole lot. And people on TV and uh, even socially, they keep mentioning the word jihad and ask me, what is jihad? For some reason, the media explain the word jihad as an act of war. Well, jihad is a struggle. Mm -hmm. And a Muslim go through struggle throughout his life. The whole life is a struggle. Christians and Jews do the same. Really? Well, no. We're in the same boat here. Yes. Life isn't easy. So uh, part of uh, the meaning of the word is when you go to fight an ag aggressive enemy trying to attack you. That's jihad also. Mm. But this is called, by definition, the smaller jihad. Really? The greatest jihad, we were told by the Prophet, is when you fight your own self, your own ego, your own selfishness. That's the greatest jihad. He said one day, coming back from a battle against the idol worshippers, we came back from the smaller jihad into the greater jihad. So, and he explained later that this is the, the struggle that one uh, is commit himself to in order to make his own ego uh, uh, follow the direction of servitude that God wants us to follow. It's like saying, it's like what Jesus said, if you want to be first, you have to be last, and you have to be a servant of all. So, going through, this requires that you go through jihad of your own self, mm -hmm. in order to be able to, to, uh, to yield to others and to serve everybody. So th this, is, this is jihad. Uh, if my son having a problem, for instance, learning math, I'll ask him to do jihad, to learn math. He will sit down and struggle with, her, with his own self, to try to uh, fight his uh, uh, desire to go and watch TV or play games instead of learning math. So, so this is a struggle against all the fleshly desires of life. Everything. That's oh. jihad. That's jihad. And it's also the struggle against an aggressor. To fight an aggressor attacking you, trying to take your home, your your family trying to take your money, this is also jihad. But that's the lesser jihad. That's the lesser jihad. The greatest jihad is against your own selfish desires. In the New Testament, it refers to the Holy Spirit struggling against the flesh and the flesh against the Spirit so that we can't do the things that we would. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. If you don't go through that struggle, if you let your selfish self take over, then you want to be first and you want to be ahead of everybody, and you want to have the most of the money, and you want to have the biggest house, and the best car, and the prettiest woman, this is selfishness. And God is put down, and it is not honored. It's not honored. Servant attitude is the attitude that the Quran teach uh, that every Muslim should follow. This is what Prophet Muhammad taught us to do. This is what Jesus taught us to do. This is a message from God. Thank you, Sophie. Sure.